Welcome to another candidate conversation from 25 Women for 2020. Today, we're very excited to be here with Teresa Bruno, who's running for Senate District 28. So Teresa, tell us a little bit more about your district and tell us why you're running. All right, thank you so much. As uh, Deb said, I am Teresa Bruno and I'm running for Indiana State Senate District 28. My district is very diverse and it covers a very large geographical area as well. Um, it starts at Emerson Avenue on the east side of Indianapolis. It's uh, basically, there's a finger that goes into Marion County and then it's all of Hancock and a little bit of Shelby. Um, about me, I'm a mom, I'm an educator, I'm a leader, I'm already on the board for the town of Warren Park, um, which is in Marion County. I've been a board member since 2015. Um, I'm also a ruptured brain aneurysm survivor. I had a brain aneurysm in 2017. Um, the reason why I'm running is because uh, Indiana State Senate District 28 needs its voice back from, I've spoken with, um, at this point, over 7,000 voters um, from the east side of Indianapolis to McCordsville to Greenfield to New Pal and into Shelby County. And um, they all feel ignored and not heard and not listened to. Um, what really made me want to sign my name on the dotted line and to run was, again, I alluded to um, my ruptured brain aneurysm. And um, when you're recovering from brain surgery, you have a lot of time to think. I spent about two months in bed. And um, I, I like to tell people that I'm lucky. And they think that I mean that I'm lucky that I'm alive. And in actuality, I tell them, I'm like, well, yes, I'm lucky to be alive, but I'm lucky that um, I had good health insurance um, because if I didn't, I would have um, lost this beautiful house that I live in. Um, I wouldn't have been able to go to a nice rehabilitation facility so I could le relearn how to walk and also to talk. And um, so, yeah, I'm just, I'm lucky. And I want everybody to have the same luck, I guess, as me. Um, so that is why i focusing on basically three things. Um, I, I am an educator myself. I teach part-time at a local community college. So I really value our teachers. We need to end high stakes testing and reinvest that money into teacher pay. Um, also infrastructure, whether it's on the east side of Indianapolis to McCordsville, Greenfield, um, there are, everyone's concerned about infrastructure. Um, east side's the condition of our roads in McCordsville and Greenfield and New Pal, they, they're growing by leaps and bounds and they're worried about traffic congestion. Um, and then the third part of my platform is economic development and I tie that into healthcare um, because I've spoken to a lot of small business owners and a lot of people who would like to start their own businesses, but um, healthcare is a big obstacle. Um, I spoke to someone back in February and he said that he struggles to provide health insurance every year to his employees. And it seems like, you know, they have a good year and then somebody, you know, gets diagnosed with cancer and they have to jack up the rates. And he's like, well, it's not that person's fault, but you know, we, but we want to continue to provide health insurance for our employees. And it seems like something that I've heard over and over again. So a lot of our small businesses, they're paying out the nose for healthcare. Well, everyone's paying out the nose for healthcare. Let's just be honest. Mm -hmm. um, and it's really starting to affect their ability to, to do business. And um, that needs to end. So that is just my platform in a nutshell. Great. So I know that people are going to want to talk to you more and find out more about you. So tell us uh, where they can find you. All right. Well, I am on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, Facebook is Teresa Bruno for Indiana. Uh, Twitter is at Bruno for Indiana. And um, I have a website, Bruno, the number four, Indiana.com. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. And I always like to give a shout out for indianavoters.com, which is where people can go to register to vote, to check yep. their registration, to request an absentee ballot if they feel that's appropriate, um, and to find out where to go to vote and who's on their ballot. So check out indianavoters.com and check out Teresa Bruno for Senate District 28. All right. Yep. Thanks. We'll see you next time. Bye.